All right, today is the day and I have lied to you. Well, maybe not lied to you, but I did tell you that we were going to be moving on and we had all the foundational layers done in the tub and now we were gonna start putting on those layers to really build up the strength and uh, stiffness into that tub. But in this episode, we're gonna look at one more thing I have done to uh, finish those final foundation layers so that we just have full smooth surfaces to just go gangbusters on. Anyway, let's jump in, take a look at that. Now in the floor of the tub, there are a couple of pockets or recesses that if you remember, we created by uh, cutting the foam out, or at least the craft paper off one side of our foam that we used to create that floor, and then gouged out all of the foam so that we could join the fiberglass through. So it would be bond fiberglass to fiberglass in these recesses and then have the insulation through the other parts of it. Now I'm gonna go back and fill those cavities. And this is gonna act like you would see in corrugated cardboard where three pieces of paper are kind of weak. But if you have three pieces and the one inside creates a core, it creates a lot of strength. So we're gonna fill this front recess completely full of foam. And then the next recess right behind it, we're gonna just partially fill because we wanna keep the bottom or the part where the seat for the driver and the passenger a little bit lower, give us just a little more headroom. So we're gonna fill those with foam and let those expand up. And in a couple hours, they're hard enough. And we're gonna trim those flat with the floor. Now this saw that I use has kind of a flexible blade. So if you try to cut straight across or flat, it's just gonna curve and maybe take out too much. So I'm gonna slice it out in pieces and make sure that it's just slightly higher than the floor. And then once I get it all cut down close to where I want it, I will just switch over and go to a really aggressive rasp. Of course, the rasp is a lot more rigid and I can get it nice and flat and taper it off just the way I want in that rear cavity. And even then I will switch over to a sanding block. That sanding block will make it nice and smooth and will also uh, taper that edge to a really good transition and allow me, of course, to uh, scuff the surface of the fiberglass around it so the next layers that we put on will bond well. Of course, if you know in the episodes you've seen that whenever I use this foam, I put a slurry, which is an epoxy with microspheres in it, to uh, coat it and then sand that down, of course, to make a good surface area that the fiberglass will actually bond really well to and went, won't let the soak, won't let the foam soak up the resin. So now I got that done, I'm ready to start laminating those floor areas and uh, go to my bench and cut up some fiberglass. And I will get a whole bunch of sheets all cut out and prepped. And I will set those up on the vehicle so that I have easy access to the different sizes I have cut for this project. I've also made myself a little seat. Always nice to just have a comfortable place to work if you're gonna be in there a long time working on these kind of things. Now I'm laminating this vertical surface here. This is the footwell area where the front subframe is gonna bolt through. So these are just foundational layers, but we're gonna get them coated up. You can see right here where we've been working. And once that uh, vertical layer is done, I'm gonna start across the floor and start covering up that foam cavity that we just filled in. And this is gonna take two sections to go all the way across the floor, front section, and then I'll do the back section. And then I will switch and go back and put one more layer on that vertical area in the footwell, and then do another layer on the floor. All I need is just two layers to create this foundational surface for our real buildup that we'll be doing in another video. And of course, doing the same thing on the opposite side, put our layers into that vertical area in the footwell. And we'll just keep working that down to cover anything that has never received any fiberglass yet. Some areas I trimmed off and uh, coated with our slurry. And we'll get them all encapsulated with our first layer of fiberglass. And then we will switch and, like I said, do the vertical layer, do our floor. And then we'll go back and do the vertical layer once more and then another layer on the floor. You also notice that I do a fairly aggressive lap on the joints. 
Now, big flat surfaces could carry a lot of shear strength, but that shear strength is always carried over to a perpendicular joint or some other kind of a transition. That's where all the load stresses will be is in those transitions. So when you're doing these layups, you'll always add extra layers into the corners. And there we have our two layers hardened up, cured next day, driver's side, and the passenger side ready for our big layups. Well, for sure now we have all of our foundation layers done. We're gonna be moving on with a structural buildup in that tub. But I also have one little problem. I keep battling back and forth in my mind where I should make my focus. And that is, should I get this engine running or should I get it to the point where I can put some paint on this thing? Um, the visual thing is always a little more driving towards me because of my artistic side. And I, I just really wanna see this thing make some changes. It's been too long in this stage where it just looks the same. So I'm leaning that way. But then again, you and I also want to hear this thing running and see the mechanical stuff start to function. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think, which direction I should put a little more effort into and put a little focus. But anyway, that's our episode for today. Thanks for stopping by. Come back and see us again.